All right, hello everybody. Today we're going to be using Canvas to create our own Jen Stark paint drip that we're going to be saving and using later for a collaborative digital art piece. To get started, we're going to be going new from drawing today. So we're going to click on this blue button up at the top to open a brand new canvas for drawing. You're going to want to use the marker tool for this because you can change the size to very large. Uh, make sure your opacity is set to 100. And then you can go ahead and change to any color that you want by using the custom color tool. Now, Jen Stark is all about using extremely bright colors. So we're going to be sticking closer to the top of the custom color palette up here where the colors are the lightest. Um, I'm using the largest marker tool here so it doesn't take as long. And I'm going to do that kind of drippy looking line that goes across. And I'm going to go all the way across my canvas. So I'm going to go over to the side here. Maybe some of these are going to be longer than the others. All right, this one probably needs to come down a little bit more. I'll be okay. You can also change the size of your marker tool so that if you want to get into tighter spots, you can get some uh, neater curves. Some of these are looking a little bit rough around the edges. So if you need to change the size of your tool, you can always do that. To do the second layer, I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to pick another very bright color. I think I'm going to do magenta. And I'm going to do the next layer here. If you want to experiment with the layers tool again, you can do that. That way, if you need to go back and erase or change something in your second or third colors, um, if you're using the layers tool, that way you can just erase only the layer that you don't want. Um, so I'm going to kind of mimic these, these drip shapes here. I'm going to make this come down a little bit more. Same thing over here. So anytime I see like kind of a drip, I'm going to exaggerate it and make it go down a little bit farther with the magenta. Then I'm going to go in and actually color this and get as close to that yellow as I can. Now I'm doing mine on a single layer. So if I try to go back and erase something, it's going to erase not just the magenta, it's also going to erase the yellow as well. So um, I guess that's up to you what your preference is. If you want to kind of live dangerously, you can work on a single layer. If you would rather work with multiple layers using that layers tool, you can do that. All right, so I've got this magenta layer kind of filled in. All right, next layer, I'm going to switch colors again. I think I'll make my pen tool a little bit smaller. This time I'll maybe do this color. This looks pretty cool. Nice and bright. Okay, so I'm gonna make this line look like it's really oozing down, so I'm exaggerating this. Oop. And I think you all kind of get the idea here. I'm just gonna go back in and color this layer. Gonna fix some of my edges. If I'm doing a huge area of coloring, I'm going to uh, increase the size of my marker tool so that it's going to go a little bit quicker. If you're going into small, tight spaces, remember you can change the size down. And I don't think I'm going to go all the way down today. I'm going to just leave this as it is. All right, now once I have it the way I like it, I'm going to save this image by clicking on those three dots in the top right corner. And when you save your image, it will save it as a, um, a PNG. And this will save to your Google Drive. So when you're done with your paint drip, making as many layers as you want, go ahead and click these uh, three dots in the corner, save as image, and then we'll do something with that finished image when you're done.